What is going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got, as you can see, an assortment of Klein tools. Uh, it's been one year since I did a video where I thought this was gonna be my first video was the Klein flip socket. Uh, if you wanna go back and look at the video, please, by all means, get it there. It's almost at 100,000 views. It would be my best video to date. Um, and it's terrible, but for whatever reason, it did good and I think it's helped me. Um, to that point, I'll say to all my subscribers that watch me for that stuff, I appreciate y'all. Um, let's let's bring 23 a phenomenal year. But I thought it was kind of interesting that with this, I wanted to hold off till today to do a video on the new Klein Impact 11 and 1. Um, so what they've done or what they've been doing, as you can see here, they use like the black oxide metal. To what you can do is use it; it's impact rated. The difference is going to be the heat treatment because it's going to go through a different process. And then when you put it inside an impact driver, it's going to use obviously higher torque than what we're going to put on it. So where the chrome sockets or chrome finishes and stuff like that, it's a lot softer. You don't want to put chrome on impact, but you see people do it all the time beside this one. Um, this is going to be a game changer, I believe. Uh, it's got many different features to it. First things being that it's got two sides here, a hollow shaft. The knees, 5 sixteenths and 3 eighths on this tool are hollow as well. So you can kind of get like a, a deep running. I think it's like an inch and, I don't know, say inch and a half or something. I didn't check. Then you still have your standard like 5 sixteenths uh, hollow side here, just like you would on a typical 11 and 1 or something. Then you got your 5 sixteenths here with the quarter inch there that has the bits. Now, just like all the other ones, what's really cool is you can take them out, flip the bits, and then again, they're double-sided bits. So you can go ahead and flip those over and you can use that in your impact. The way you would utilize this in an impact is you're gonna, now it's, it's tight, no, don't get me wrong. Go pull it out and you can see it has that quarter inch shank on it with that ball detent that's gonna fit right inside your impact. The hell is, what the hell is my wife's drill doing in here? Get this out of here. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. Here we go. That's more like it. And it's going to go right inside the impact. And then if for whatever reason you got that, you can just flip it around. Pretty basic common knowledge, right? So I think that's a really dope, cool feature they, they added to make it impact ready. And all you do is simply you're just going to put it right back in. Obviously, same thing on the other side. You got that. 5 sixteenths. Unreal. There, it's got double-sided bits, except, where are you at? Did I already pass it? Hold on, guys. Oh, there it is. <laughs> My eyesight's terrible. It's got this little symbol here, that laser etched, uh, like I guess it's supposed to be like their magnetic symbol. It comes with one standard bit, because as you can see, this holds the magnet. So, all that oil kind of makes it hard to hear, but it just snaps in there. So if you wanted to put, like, say, just a regular, say, some other type of square or Torx, it goes right in there. You can utilize that. Use what you need it to be used for. So I think that's a pretty dope feature as well. Build this the way you want it to be built. Like me, if anything, you can still use it with the handle. I would take this out and probably put maybe this uh, Schrader core tool in there to be able to utilize it that way. Honestly that's all i use this for and then these pieces in a pinch i'll use the quarter inch or something or the three eighths but they suck they're not really good i feel these are gonna be much better tighter finish probably i think and then the real golly suck us tight boy the real winner is gonna be this guy you got yourself two hollow ended quarter inch adapted ends here that's going to fit any of your quarter inch bits and then with that you'll be able to take that and put it right up in there as so and then you can even say get a different type of um magnetic sleeve i can use you know these or these the weha uh the terminator bits they're really nice nice tight finish good magnet obviously you just i just took that away and made it essentially a three in one which 
I don't think I would go that far, but you can get the Klein little, what is it, two inch or three inch stubby piece that has the tapered edge here to where you can just put a, uh, a tip right in there and it'll hold. And even say for demonstration purposes, you can see that's gonna go in there as well. And that stayed on, pretty cool. And then again, I'll take that off. That slides in, you know that's gonna fit. It's got a lot of different capabilities, a lot of types of fits and finishes. That's where the game changing is going to come into play. You know, it's gonna be versatile. You're gonna be able to do multiple different things with it. I'll probably honestly just keep this piece together in there. Maybe change the bits around because of the way I utilize my impact. I have the little bit storage on the side, but again, fit it to what you needed to do. This thing's gonna be a great, another addition from Klein. It's gonna go in my Klein bag, um, impact rated, all that good stuff. But that's really it. There's not too much more. I mean, I could go on and on and just say some random things like I've probably already been saying, but uh, it's gonna wrap it up, y'all. So if y'all don't mind smashing the like button, have a phenomenal new year. Have a phenomenal new year. To all my subscribers, I appreciate y'all, and I'll catch you on the next one.